Hey everybody, today what we're going to do is demo a train wreck amp, a new train wreck amp. Brief history, very quick. Ken Fisher was, lived in uh, Colonia, New Jersey, close to where I grew up, in Union, New Jersey. And he was an electrical engineer and uh, worked for RCA for a while. Then he worked for Ampeg. Then he started repairing amps at his house in Colonia, just uh, self-employed. And there he worked, and after a while, somebody asked him to build an amp for themselves. He built it, they loved it, word spread, and he exploded. I, I think back, uh, like I said, I didn't grow up far from there. I never heard of Ken Fisher. I never heard of Train Wreck Amps. And in the area, local music store, Rondo Music, I went there to get my first amplifier, and I bought an Ampeg. I have to assume, again, I was a younger teenager. That's what they pushed. And they probably pushed that because Ampeg was built in that area. I'm, I'm not exactly sure where, but uh, I, I never knew that. But anyway, uh, Ken Fisher's trade rec amps now go for $30,000 or more. He passed away at 61 in 2006. Uh, there hasn't been trade rec amps for quite some time. Fairly recently, uh, JM, uh, who used to work with Ken Fisher prior to even train rec amps, has uh, been authorized by Ken Fisher's family, and he's building these train wrecks. Uh, there it is. Uh, he's building these in the basement of Ken Fisher's house, which is where he uh, built his train wrecks, and he's using uh, parts that were left over. Of course, uh, when Ken was alive, they worked together. They uh, built the prototypes of train wrecks together. He helped tweak them with Ken, so he knows all about the uh, what goes into the train wreck amp. Again, there's lots of clones out there of train wreck amps, and uh, they don't quite cut it uh, like a train wreck, uh, which means you could copy the circuit, but uh, there's more to that. There's a fine tuning with your ear to get to the uh, right place. What I'm gonna do today is, I'm gonna run a few different guitars through the train wreck. I'm gonna play them clean and then overdrive it a little bit. This train wreck has four uh, EL84s, I believe it's uh, 30 watts, 35 watts around there. It's a tube rectifier circuit. As I said, it, it it's, works really well clean, but it overdrives well too. So let's get started. Here we go. Okay, I have it pretty good uh, dialed in. Uh, we're going to start off with a Fender Stratocaster. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to crank it up a little bit and get some drive on it. Okay, 
Fender Telecaster. Uh, by the way, all guitars are just cabled directly into the amp. Okay, first off, I'd like to say it's crazy that uh, I just run out of things to play. But that being said, this amp uh, really uh, rings. I'm sure you can't capture, capture it with this microphone and the setup that we're doing here. It's clear and it really holds a note and there's a lot of richness to it. Just a beautiful, beautiful sounding amp. And then you can see once I drive the uh, main volume, it really breaks up and I didn't floor anything i didn't put anything on 11 so there's a, there's more dirt to be had by the way this amp is named carmen it's number 12. it is called a liverpool slash rocket model i spoke to uh, jm on the phone he said that this has a little more headroom than uh, a lot of the other amps that he's made uh but again i didn't even crunch it all the way there's a lot of nasty overdrive to be had with this Okay, that's that's all I could say. Again, I think in person it's it's a super impressive uh, amplifier, and I, 
I love it. It's just beautiful. And we've been playing through a uh, Marshall 412 cab, 16 ohm cab. Also behind me, you could see that Comet uh, there, the red amp, that head. That was actually put together by Ken Fisher. It, it is signed inside. He wrote a name in there, and it's modeled after the amp that he made for Mark Knopfler. But uh, it's 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 actually not even modded Ken Fisher. It's uh, pretty much a Ken Fisher built unit. I believe it's more along the lines of 80 watts. So uh, there's a lot more headroom to that one, and it's a pretty uh, in-your-face type of clean sound on it. Maybe I'll demo that next time. But uh, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you soon. Bye.